So Bob, do you want to hear about the meaning of the net <laughs> and why we have a net? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll try so to let me see it in front of you. <laughs> Part of this is that the idea behind the show is that everything is interconnected. So we made a net that almost every character at some point gets to climb around on. everything together and gives people opportunity to kind of move in unusual ways, but at the same time it represents this like giant spider web that people get caught in, right? And this kind of struggle that they have to do, have to endure to kind of get over it. <laughs> Your face. Uh, alone. Okay. Now you're acting like he made his point. I appreciate but that. I, but, but what is it that happened in that exchange? Because I didn't see anything different happen. I only saw you react differently. And I think I saw you react differently because you decided that you were going to sell it on this end. I know. Right? But you can't sell it on this end if it didn't happen on that end. So that's part of the net. Everything in the others from the principle behind Tattoo Girls is just about people trying to be happy. Um, in particular, one woman trying to be happy. And. So she is dissatisfied with her life, so she begins the play by destroying her, she is, is bored with her life, so she destroys her living room. And then everything that she sort of blows apart in that opening scene becomes the material that she uses to construct the fantasy from for the rest of the play. Um, Bigger than your own puny little life to believe in. You're gonna have to find some kind of transcendent okay. Yes, okay, during this whole section, you need to be going up into this. You've got a lot of height to work with, and you've got things to do, <laughs> right? I think once you once you stop her there, mm -hmm. right, and you pull her, and I think that's I think that's absolutely the right cross. And once you stop her there, she's not going anywhere. Okay. So then it's about pulling her in into this, make her come to you. Okay. So everything that we see at the opening becomes used at some point later on in the play um, as all different kinds of things. So. Furniture becomes balance means, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah. But it's just about people trying, really struggling, right? And that struggles can be beautiful. Okay, then yes, I think what you want is maybe like, yeah. So one leg behind, if you can sort of stick one leg out, like reasonably straight. I want to get it so it's like. Yeah, no, you want it straight. It's tricky. Wait. But like in profile. Yes, it has to be in profile, yes. Can you do like a lunge on the net? No, 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 head keeps over there. Head keeps over there. You're a gymnast. There you go. That, I think, I think that might do it. <gasps> That's, then you just have to get up there, and then you have to do that. Okay. And we'll just be like this little blip. And then we're, and then, and that will happen with the song. And then, hey, the light will go out, and we'll be in this space. Then that's going to go out relatively quickly. Okay. Now you've got to keep your torso, stuck. Like, yes, because remember the balance beam like goes here, oh, yeah? yeah, that's right? right. So you're like on the balance beam, right, doing these like kind of crazy, fabulous things, okay? Mm -hmm. Keep those hips there. There you go. Okay, so it's got to stay totally <laughs> in profile, right? And the arm has to come back straight. There you go. Perfect. There we go. Very nice. Okay. I think I think actually scuttling has to happen with, with the, on the ball. Like I, don't think you can, I think you can scuttle with heels. <laughs> <laughs> 